guys, today's reformer workout is a legs, glutes, and core focused workout. I'm going to use my Pilates box um, as a prop. We're going to start with this little footwork to get started just to warm up the legs. I have my foot bar all the way up in the top notch. I'm going to go a little bit heavier on the springs today just for footwork because I'm not going to do extra pulses or variations. So if you want to try to go a little bit heavier on the springs, go for it. Challenge yourself. I have my headrest all the way up. So I'm going to start with three red springs on. If you want to go lighter, go for two reds, a white and a blue, or two reds and a blue. Let's lay down on our back. I'm going to start with our, my heels on, hip distance apart. Make sure the heels and your sit bones are in alignment. Your toes are flexed up to the ceiling. A little space between your lower back and the mat. Arms long by your side. You're going to exhale, press all the way out, pull up through the quads, and then slow on the way in. Pressing through those heels, resist it down. You want to make sure the knees are tracking in line with the heels and the hips. Make sure you squeeze the glutes and quads at the top so you're really activating those leg muscles. Exhale on the way out. Inhale in. Five more here. Keep flexing those feet up towards the ceiling. One more here, press it all the way out, and come all the way in. Let's drop down to the ball of your toes, hip distance apart, so ten, your toes are on, try to have all ten toes on evenly, heels are lifted, exhale, press out, slow as you come in. So try to keep those heels high the whole time. Again, try to have those knees tracking in line with those heels. Pulling up through those quads each time you lengthen. You want to resist the springs in. Don't let the springs pull you in. Five more here. Make sure you're pressing with the big toes. I know some people like to roll out. They press more with the pinky, so make sure there's even weight on all ten toes. Three more. Two. And last one. Come all the way in. Good. Last position. Heels wide. Second position. Like I said, it was just a quick warm up. Warming up the legs. Keep that slight turnout, the slight V. Resist it down. As you press out, feel the wrapping around on the glutes and up through the quads and inner thighs. Exhale as you press, keeping that space between your lower back and the reformer. We have four more here. Exhale as you press. Last 
two. And last one. Come all the way in. Good, just bring your knees to your chest, little tiny rock. Massage off that back for a second. Okay, we're gonna roll on up. Take off the red springs. You're gonna add on one single blue spring. If you want it more of a challenge, you can go for one single white. But I think blue is good. We're gonna stay on a blue for a lot of the work. And I'm also gonna grab my box. So like I said, if your machine is low to the floor, you probably don't need the box. You're gonna put the box in line with the foot bar. So it'll come up just to the bottom edge and parallel. So we're gonna stand on the box. My left foot is gonna be at the front right corner of the box. Your right foot is gonna go up against the shoulder rest. We're gonna go into some lunges. If you need a pole or stick to hold on to to help balance, you can do that. So back leg is straight, give me your right leg. You're gonna bend the left leg. Make sure the knee and heel are in the same alignment and then press up slow. Exhale, slowly bend, hold it at the bottom for a second, and then press straight up. Your chest will lean forward slightly as you lunge it down. And make sure you're bending at that left knee. Pressing through that left heel and left glute as you stand. Keep those abs pulled in. We have five more in this variation. Last two here. Last one, we're gonna hold it down in that lunge. Holding it there, reach those arms overhead. You're just gonna hinge at the hip and lift back up for 10. And nine, you wanna keep the weight back in that left heel. Seven. Six, you're keeping a flat back. It doesn't have to be a big range of motion. Five. We're just isometrically working this left glute and quad. Four. Three. Two. Last one, hold it. You can bring your hands on your hips. Hold it there. You're gonna do little calf raises with this left heel for 10. If you need to have a hand on the foot bar, you can. Nine. Eight, we're still isometrically working this left leg. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, hold that heel up as high as you can and just balance for 10. Nine, sit a little lower if you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, hold it for three, two, drop that heel, stand all the way up. We're gonna replace that right foot where the left foot was. So your right foot is on the right corner of the box. We're gonna place your hands on the foot bar. Your left foot now is gonna go up against the shoulder rest. So we're kind of in like a curtsy type lunge. Sit low in that right leg. All you're gonna do is press the carriage back and pull it in. So try to do one hand on the foot bar if you can. If you have good balance, you can do both hands off. So we're isometrically now working that right leg. So we're gonna get this movement first and then we're gonna add on. Sitting low, abs tight. Try to make sure the hips are squared up forward and you're not rotating out. Okay, we're gonna do five more here. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. 
sit low. Four. Three. Two. One. You're going to come all the way in. And then take the left foot. Step down on that box so you're in a little squat. And then press up through that right leg. Squat. Lift. Breathe. Make sure you land soft on the floor and you're sticking your bottom out behind you. Pressing all the way up. We have five more here. Two, three, four, and five. Come back to the foot bar. Left foot back goes back up against the shoulder rest. We have ten more. Ten. Full extension, sit low, nine, breathe, eight, just get your cardio and legs, seven, six, press five, make sure you're getting that full extension of that left leg, four, sitting low in the right, three, for two, and one, come all the way in, you're going to squat down and stand up again, for ten, Nine, stick your bottom out. Eight, pressing through that right heel. Seven, six, five, you should feel that quad. Four, three, two, one. One more set just for five. Left leg crosses behind, up against the shoulder rest. Sit low on that right leg. We have five. Try not to use your hands if you can. Four. A little bit more balance. Three, two, and one. Come all the way in. Back down to the floor. Five more. Squat. Five, four, three, two, and one. Standing up on the box, facing sideways. So your back is to the reformer. My right foot. It's on the front edge of the box. Your left foot is going to go up against the shoulder rest. So I have my, my ball of the toe is up. I'm going to start with my left leg bent. You're going to go into a side lunge, straightening that left leg as you go out, sitting low in that right leg. As you come up, you can bend the left leg in if you need. Press out, squat, and lift. So we're working that right leg, right glute still. Make sure you're sticking your bottom out behind you. And make sure that knee is in line. It's not going over the toes. And you're not just bending the chest. You're bending that right leg. Breathe slow. Hold it at the bottom slow. And then lift up. We have 10 more here. Keep breathing, abs 10, nine. Eight, seven, make sure you're light on the right toe, seven, six, five, four, Last two here, then we're going to hold it at the bottom. Last one. You're going to hold it low in that right leg. You're going to do like a skater motion. Just press that left leg in and out. Two. Isometrically working this right leg in glute. Three. Four. Good. So all the balance is in this right leg right now. Five. Six. Seven. You can hold on with your fingertips on the foot bar if you need. Eight. Exhale. Keep sticking that bottom out behind you. We have five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. You're going to bend that left knee halfway in. Now little pulses down just for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. You can take a breather. Stop if you need six. Almost there. Five. Four. 
three, two, and one. Whoo, stand that up. One more thing. So facing the back now. Your right foot is on the block. Your left foot is up against, it's flat, but up against the shoulder rest. Your toes are just touching. You're gonna lunge it forward, holding the left knee like this. Now lift the right toe or right heel up. That's for a little bit more of a challenge. A little bit easier, just drop the heel down so you have a little bit more balance. So staying in this position, all you're gonna do is try to straighten the left leg forward and slowly pull it back. Forward again if you need a pull or something to hold on to. Or if it's too much, just hold this lunge. Take the left leg forward, use it hamstring to pull back. And you only want to pull the leg back to where the heel and knee are in the same alignment. It doesn't need to come back closer to the body. That'll help the balance. And find a spot to focus on. That also helps. You have eight more. Seven. Six. Last one, stay here. The left leg stays still. You're just bending that right knee in and then pressing it out. So now the only thing that is moving is this right leg. Stabilizing through that left glute. Try to have the knee, the left knee and heel in that same alignment. Deep breathing, almost there. We have 10. Nine, pull it in slow. The slower you go, the harder it is. Eight, seven, six, five. Last two here. And one, come all the way in. Okay, carefully step off of the box. I'm gonna put my box in front of the shoulder rest. So you don't wanna put it over because we're gonna do some sawing and I don't want your box to push off. So make sure it's in front of the shoulder rest. I still have on one single blue spring. So if you're more of a beginner, inner or beginner, newer person, put your foot bar all the way down and we're going to go into planks. So you're going to, if you're newer, you're going to put your feet on the wooden platform or if you have a platform put over your springs, you can put your feet on the, on the platform or put your knees on the platform. If you're advanced, keep your foot bar up in this top notch. So I'm going to come down to my knees. So again, bring your foot bar down if you're not advanced. You're going to put one foot, if you are have the foot bar up, put one foot on the foot bar. Press all the way out. Your forearms are going to go onto the box regardless. I'm actually putting my toes on the foot bar. You're going to lift up into a plank position. So abs tight, core engaged. Squeeze those glutes, pull the belly button up to the spine. You're just going to saw your arms forward a few inches and back a few. So with your feet higher, it makes it a little bit harder. Like I said, you can always drop down to your knees if you put the platform on, or if you need a little bit more back support, do a blue and a white spring. Only stretch your arms out as far as you feel comfortable. You wanna make sure that back is not sinking or arching. Inhale out. Exhale, pull in. We 
those thighs more here. And four. Three. One more, then you're just gonna hold that plank. Bring the hand, the elbows back underneath the shoulders. Squeeze your butt. Ten, nine, eight. Keep holding. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If you're on the foot bar, drop one knee down. Pull that carriage in slowly. Just take a little breather if you need. Sit back onto your heels. Open up the chest. We're gonna do another thing here. This time we're going to do plank to pike. So if you felt like this was too much of a challenge, drop down, drop the foot bar down. So again, forearms onto the box, one foot onto the foot bar, press the foot bar, carriage all the way out. We're going to lift back up into a plank, holding it, stabilize the plank first. Then you lift those hips up to the ceiling, piking up, and then back out to the plank. Hold it for a second. Lift up, looking at your shins or your toes, and then slowly back down. If piking it up is too hard, just hold that plank. Or do a few and then take a breather and then get back to it. We have five more here. And four. Last three. Two. One more. You're going to press back to the plank and hold it. Now, slowly, either hold the plank. We're going to do little mountain climbers. Bring one knee in, slowly put it back. Two, and three. This is definitely challenging, so if you need to hold the plank or come down, go for it. Do what feels good for you. We have five more. Four, three, pull two, and one. Put one knee down, and slowly pull that carriage in. Okay, we're going to take the box, bring it to the other side for the other set of leg work. So putting the box on the floor, make sure the front of the box is in line with the bottom of the foot bar. I still have one blue spring on. If you change your springs, bring it back to one blue, or if you had it harder, put on that single white spring. We're going to go into those lunges first. So my right foot is on the front left corner of the box. So closest to the reformer, right foot down. Your left foot is up against the shoulder rest. You're gonna press that left leg so it's straight. Bending that right leg, holding it down, and then press up slow. Lean that chest forward slightly, holding it at the bottom, and then lifting up. Remember, as you bend that right leg, you want the knee and the heel in that same alignment. You don't want that knee pushing forward or back. Try to hold it at the bottom for a second so you're really activating the quads and glutes and hamstrings. Pressing up through that right heel, light on the toes. We have five more here. Last three. Two. One more. We're going to press it back and hold it down in that lunge position. Bring those arms up to the ceiling. You're just hinging at the hip and then back up to the ceiling for 10. If you need to hold on with one hand, you can. Nine, 
and eight, or you could just hold it at the bottom. Seven, and five. The only thing that is really moving is that chest. Four, so you're keeping a flat back. Three, two, and one. Bring your hands on your hips. You do little calf raises. So lift that right heel up and down. If you need to hold on, you can. Two, and three. Little lifts. Four, five, six. Keep breathing. We have five more. Four, take a break at any time. Three, two, hold that heel up, hold it there for ten, nine, just balance, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, drop that right heel, stand all the way up. Bring that left foot down to where the right foot was. So the left foot goes to the front corner of the left box, hands on the foot bar, you're going to bring that right foot behind you up against the shoulder rest. Lift the chest up slightly, bend that left knee. Press the right leg out and in. Breathe. So we're isometrically working this left leg. Try to make sure those hips are squared off forward. And you can take one hand off if you want. We have five more here. Then we're going to go to those little squats or lunges on the floor. Four. Three. Are there more like step ups, not lunges? Two. And one. Pull the carriage all the way in. Stand up. Your right foot. It's going to tap the floor on the outside of the box. Lift up through that left leg. Squat. Lift. Make sure your bottom is out behind you. Sitting low. Abs tight. Squeeze the left foot at the top. We have five more here. Last one, come up to the box. Hands back on the foot bar, right foot back behind you, up against the shoulder rest, sit low. Press the carriage back for 10. Sit low in that left leg, nine. Breathe. Last four. Three, try to keep that head up, you're not burying that head. Two, and one, bring the carriage all the way in. Stand it up, back to the floor. Squat and lift for 10. Land soft, nine. Eight, you're light on the left toes. Seven, pressing through that left heel. Two more. And one. Last set of only five. Hands on the foot bar. Right foot back behind you. Press it back for five. Sit low. Go slow. Four. Three. Two. And one. Pull it all the way in. Last set of little step ups. Squat down. Lift up for five. Four. Three, two, and one. Standing on the box. We're going to face the back. So my left foot again is at the front of the box. My right foot is going to go up against the shoulder rest. Lift that heel up. It can start, the right leg can start bent. You're going to press the right leg out straight, lunging it with that left leg, and then lift up slow. 
Breathe, stick your bottom out behind you. Remember to have that left knee and heel in a similar alignment. And you're bending that left knee, not just sticky bending the chest forward. We have five more here. Last two. Last one, you're gonna hold it low in the left leg. Just pull that right leg in and back. So all the weight is in the left leg. So you're isometrically working the left leg. Abs tight. See if you can lift the chest up a little bit more. We have five more. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Come in, we have that last set of little pulses. So bend the left leg, the right leg stays bent, little pulses down for 10, nine, eight. Stick your bottom out, seven, light on the toes, six, five, Four, three, the tiny bend, two, and one, stand on up. Okay, last thing with this leg, we're here, facing the back. Your left foot is now in the back right corner, closest to the reformer. Your right foot is flat on the reformer up against the shoulder rest. You're going to lean that chest forward, bending that. Right knee, if you want the advanced version, lift that left heel up behind you. You're just kicking the carriage forward a few inches and pulling it back. So the only thing is moving is pretty much the shin, kicking forward and pulling back, just back underneath the knee. Breathing. We have five more here. Last two. Last one. This right leg stays still. You're just bending that back leg in and pressing out for ten. Keep pressing in for this right leg though. Nine. Eight. Try to pull slow. Seven. We know this leg's getting tired. Six. Five. Just make sure the knee and heel are staying the same alignment. It's not moving. Four. Three. Two, and one, come on in. Step down onto the box carefully, back to the floor. We're gonna take the box, lift it up, put it over the shoulder rest this time. So make sure it's all the way up against the shoulder rest. If you're a little bit taller, you might wanna take off the springs and peg your reformer out a little bit. I'm just gonna keep the blue spring on because we're gonna add it in a second. Okay, I'm gonna sit down on the reformer. We're gonna do some side bends. If you don't like side bends, you can stand on the floor if you have a weight, or even if you don't have a weight. Even weight on both feet, you're just gonna reach down towards that knee and then lift up. So if you're not a fan of side bends or you feel like you can't do it, 
Otherwise, you're going to grab the strap. So I have on, you can add a spring on if you don't want the carriage to move, but I think it's fine. I'm just using one glue. So how to get into it? You want your foot off of the wooden platform. My bottom is to the very edge of the box. Put one hand on the shoulder rest or the headrest just to get this one long alignment of the body. When you're ready, you're going to take the hands either across your chest, behind the head is harder, and then one arm there. I like to lower down and then lift up. You're going to pull those abs in, squeeze that right oblique as you lift. So again, try to have the shoulder, the side, the leg all in one alignment. If you rotate the shoulders forward or back, you might feel it in your back. So lengthen that right side. As you lift up, you want to think about squeezing it together. Inhale down and exhale lift. If you need support, you could have one hand on the box to help you lift. You can always do small range of motion. Try to have that head still and looking forward. Ten more. Nine. Eight. And try not to make this leg work. Try not to let it move up and down. Really use that right oblique. We have four more. So we're going to hold it, abs in 10, 9, keep holding, 8, isometric hold, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, you're going to take this right hand, just sweep it towards your front, wrap to your hip for 10, 9, you can take it at any time, 8, sweep 7, 6, 5, Last three, and two, and one. Take a stretch. Reach down towards the floor. You can put your elbow on the headrest. Reach as far forward as you can. Feel a stretch down the right side of the body. One more deep breath in, and exhale. We're going to slowly roll up. I'm going to put both feet into the straps, facing forward. So I just worked my right side. I'm still working my right side. So I'm going to lean back, tuck the pelvis under. It doesn't have to be a far lean back. I'm going to have my left hand behind my head. Right arm is going up to the ceiling. All you're going to do is bend that right elbow and press it up to the ceiling. So tuck the pelvis under, up, and then bend it down. Three and four. You can always hold the back of your leg if you want. Five. Press the pelvis. Six. As you pull that right elbow down, front, try to feel that right oblique squeeze. Seven. We'll feel the last a little bit. Eight. Press the pelvis. Nine. Good. Ten. We have five more here. Five. And four. Three. Two. Last one, hold that elbow halfway down. So elbow and shoulder in the same alignment. I'm gonna twist to the left, small twist, back to center. Little twist too. So now you should feel that right oblique twisting, a little deeper like you're wringing out a towel. Four, small motion, five. Make sure even weight is on that sit bone so you're just rotating through the core. Twist nine, twist 10, five more. You can also go like this if you need five. Twist four, twist three, twist two. Hold it to the left, little pulses up, 10. Feel that right oblique squeeze, nine, eight. It's small, seven, six, five, three. Keep tucking into all this, two, and one. Reach down towards those toes. Take a little stretch at the back and hamstrings.
good. Let's roll on up. We're going to switch sides. So left foot is in the strap, right foot up on the box. Make sure that left foot is not touching, it's hooked underneath the strap. Right hand is on the headrest. Make sure you get that one long alignment between the head, shoulder, hip, and foot. When you're ready, take that right hand off. We're going to go down towards the well. Lengthen through that left side. And then shorten it, lifting, squeezing that left oblique. Again, only go as deep as you feel comfortable. If you can't go super far, that's fine. Pull those abs in, have that head neutral, looking forward. Go slow, squeezing that left oblique as you lift. Left leg still, so it's not working. You're really just using that left side. We have seven more here. Last three. Here two. Last one, hold it. Ten seconds. Five, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two. Take this left hand by your hips. Sweep it forward and then back for ten. Nine. Isometric hold through that left side. Last four. And three. Sweep two. And one, take a little stretch. Reach that right hand down, left arm overhead. Feel a nice stretch to the left side of the body. We're gonna roll all the way up. Put both feet into the strap, facing forward. Tuck the pelvis under. Hold it. Doesn't have to go back super far. I'm going to have my right hand behind the head. Left arm up towards the ceiling, palm facing in. Bend that left elbow down and then press up. Make sure you're trying to create that C curve. And as you pull that left elbow down, try to feel the lat and the weak squeeze. Exhale as you pull down. Keep dropping the shoulder down the back. You need a little sit up higher for back following you. Just sit up a little higher. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Hold that elbow and shoulder in the same alignment. We're getting a little twist to the right. Three. One. Good. Two. Feel like you're wringing out a towel through the left oblique. Even weight on both sit bones. You're just twisting through that torso. Exhale as you twist five more. We have five. Twist four. Three. Two. Last one. Hold it to the right. Little pulses up for ten. Squeeze that left side nine. Eight. Make it small. Seven. Like you're lifting going up and over a bar. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Reach down forward, take another little stretch of the back. Roll all the way up. Staying seated on the box, let's put both feet down. You're just going to cross the right foot over the left. Lean that chest forward slightly till you feel a little stretch in that right glute. Breathing into that stretch, take a deep inhale. And exhale, try to lean forward a little bit more. That right foot down, let's cross the left leg over the right. Lean that chest forward. 
as much as you can. Try to feel a stretch in that left glute. Release that left foot. I'm going to come off to the right side of my reformer. You can put your box onto the floor. I still have on one glute. If you want to go a little bit heavier, you can do a balloon white spring. We're going to go into a little lunge stretch. So right foot is on the floor in line with the foot bar. Left foot up against the shoulder rest. Tuck the pelvis under, pressing that right hip or the left hip flexor forward. Feeling a nice stretch. Now you're going to straighten the right leg, lift the toes up to the ceiling, make sure the hips are squared off. So try to pull that right hip back, lean that chest forward until you feel a stretch in that right hamstring and calf. You can come in a little bit if you feel like you get a deeper stretch. Now bend that right knee, you're going to bring the carriage in, now we're going to bring that left knee up against the shoulder rest. You're going to bend that right leg, reach back towards and grab that left ankle with your hand. Now try to pull the heel towards your bottom as you're pressing this left hip forward. So you should feel a nice stretch down the front of the leg, the quad, the hip flexor. Release and come all the way in. Let's hop on over to the other side. Left foot on the floor in line with the foot bar. Right foot up against the shoulder rest. Tuck the pelvis under, bending that left knee. Try to press that right hip forward. Breathe into that stretch. You're going to come in slightly, straighten out that left leg, lift the left toes up to the ceiling, square off the hips. So bring that left hip back, the right hip forward, knee and the chest forward. You want to feel a stretch on the left back of the leg. Pull that carriage in. We're going to lift that right knee up against the shoulder rest. Reach back and grab your left foot. Bending that left leg. Pull that foot, your heel towards your bottom, and try to press that right hip flexor forward. Big major quad stretch in the front of the leg. Release. Come all the way in. And we're all done, guys. I hope you guys had a great workout. And come see me again next time. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.